Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jess. If you're new, I'm Jess. Today I'm excited because I'm doing a very request requested video on my foundation tips and tricks for beginners. I'm starting a series on my channel for beginners. I've said it in the past that I've been wanting to do this. Um, I have friends and people on Instagram who are beginners in makeup who would like basic walkthrough tips on how to do make it, makeup. Can I talk? Why can't I talk when I film? That's a problem. Um, I use all affordable makeup that we can get here in Australia. So I'm on a budget. I know most of you guys are on a budget. Um, all I've done is my brows, a bit of colour on my eyes. So we're going to go and get started. So first thing I want to say is that for long wearing makeup that doesn't go cakey I always prime. These are all tips that I did when I was going to school and my days were long. Don't you dare fall on me background. I've just taped it up. Ah. Okay. My days were long. I would put my makeup on at quarter to six in the morning wouldn't get home till like six at night and I probably wouldn't take off the makeup till about nine or ten at night my foundation would always last and it was quite an easy routine so this is what I would do so I would always do my skincare I would always wash my face tone moisturize because I have oily skin you don't want the grime or anything like that um, underneath your foundation because that always picks up so that's a thing. So yeah, I would take about that much. This is the e.l.f. Illuminating Primer. It's been one of my all-time favourite primers as of late. I literally cannot put it down. And I just use my fingers because they're affordable. You don't have to pay for them, which is good. They're clean. Let's sit for a couple of minutes to do its thing because you don't just go straight into foundation once you're primed. It's like moisturizer. You layer it for a couple, like after a couple of minutes so that it has time to absorb and then do its thing. So I always go in with foundation next. Sometimes people do concealer. It really doesn't matter. It depends what preference you prefer. Um, I go in with the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour. I really like this. It matches me perfectly. It stays a long time and it's oil controlling um, where it doesn't leave me feeling dry, tight and uncomfortable because I really don't like that when like you just feel like you want to wash it off straight away. It's not pleasant. So start off with I do about that much. Um, and it's really easy to work with and then you can use either a kabuki brush or like a sponge but I really do, do tend to use a flat top kabuki brush this is the one by sports girl I really like it I just do little circular motions to blend it out and I really like the way that this foundation blends because it really doesn't take much time at all. So because I do have acne there, like I can use a little bit more to cover that. But as you can see. It's evened out like a lot, like you do little layers at a time to build up the coverage where you want. You don't like put thick layers on because it's just going to slide off during the day, especially in summer. And it just goes cakey and gross where you don't want, where well, you're not probably going to be able to touch up if you're at work or whatever. You don't want that. Now, I always get like cakiness around here or where it separates, so I kind of buff in more around there and here. I'm out and do my other side. 
thing I like about that foundation is that it just makes, sorry, the primer, it just makes the foundation blend so much easier over your pores and any troubled spot like acne. Like two pumps and it's really good coverage. It's like if you're a beginner at makeup, it's a really good foundation because it sets down really well. So it like no brainer to blend out. Can't go wrong. For concealer, this is one of my all time faves. Mud makeup, get it at Woolworths. I think it's like about $5. I just really like the way that it lasts on the skin. These products are like so long lasting. I always start the middle of the face. I do the eyes last because it just kind of helps the coverage to go a little bit more if you let it sit longer. Blend it out. And brushes don't have to be expensive. Set my face, we're going to use my favourite powder ever. It's the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I am in the shade 120. What are we? Classic Ivory. You think I should know that because I am pale AF. So to set you will need a powder brush. I always dab. You don't want to swell and move the work that you've just put on your face. And this just gives a little bit more coverage if you've still got like some redness poking through. So you guys, this is what it looks like with the finished look, the rest of the makeup on my face. Um, for the rest of my tips, setting spray. Setting sprays are your best friend. This is the Rimmel Insta Fix and Go. Spray it on your face if you think you are looking powdery or whatever. It also makes your foundation last a lot longer. You can also take it in your purse or whatever to school to work because it will refresh your makeup on the go. You can also use these as primers. Take your time doing your makeup. If you rush, it's not going to work because you don't want unblended foundation because that's going to be when it creases. Look, I've got hair. Um, that's going to be when it creases and looks terrible. Also drink plenty of water because you don't want dry on the eyes. Um, but yeah, find a concealer that works for your under eye. Don't cake it on because again, you don't want creasing. Yeah, and my couple of tips and tricks. I do hope you find this kind of video helpful. Let me know in the comments below and as usual, I'll talk to you guys soon.